Good morning. On behalf of our principal, Mrs. Zahara Valentine, Assistant Principal Darren Prozine, faculty, staff, and the Board of Trustees, we welcome family, friends, esteemed guests, and dignitaries to Baltimore Design School's fourth commencement exercises for the class of 2020. My name is Shannon Hayes, your Master of Ceremonies for this momentous milestone. We are here to celebrate the 71 men and women who have worked long and hard to get to this point in their lives, and we are indeed so very proud of them. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Star Spangled Banner and the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, performed by Baltimore Design School faculty member, Ms. Kelly Gray. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, who say does that star? Thank you, Kelly, for that resounding vocal. We love it. And join me in welcoming senior Mr. Adrian Phillips Jr., who will give us the welcome for this year's commencement exercise. Let me also add that Adrian will be attending the Morgan State University in the fall. Please welcome Adrian Phillips Jr. Greetings, staff, parents, and the class of 2020. My name is Adrian Phillips, and today I welcome you to the fourth commencement exercise of the Baltimore Design School. 
I personally congratulate you all for making it through, dis through despite the current events that have and is still taking place. It has been an honor to work with such a group of rigorous students and young adults. I am also honored to serve as your student government vice president for three years. This is such an exciting time, but it seems that the most exciting things right now are masked with the adversities in our city, country, and our world. Do not let any of these conflicts you see today discourage you, but let it be an inspiration for the change you would like to see. These four years have been a roller coaster that never seemed to stop. We have all had our bad days, and I'm 100% sure that there will be much more. Those days have contributed to the prize that you have received. Being a student leader, I often struggled with trying to advocate and motivate students to take control over their futures, often because they truly did not believe in themselves and lacked confidence and inspiration. Today, as I look and hear about my fellow alumni, I can say from my heart that I am proud and I am enthusiastic for what your future will project to the younger generations. In all honesty, I say this in experience of my own and the experience of my peers that it has been one of the hardest times in our lives thus far. Pressure by college, academics, scholarships, and FAFSA, each and every day was a struggle to maintain those obligations. Just as we were two months away from the light at the end of the tunnel, COVID-19. You would think that students would be excited not having to get up early mornings and staying up late nights. Well, we got up almost every morning and we even went to sleep at 6 a.m. Little time to do this and little time to do that. However, it was all worth it because now we have shown evidence that anything is possible, from paying for college, dual enrollment, a pandemic, national riots and protests, everyday crime and murders in Baltimore City. We as young people have earned the keys to the future, and that key is that diploma in the black case that has your name on it. Put your name on your future, and do not by any means let anyone tell you what you cannot do. And remember, education is your golden ticket. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian, for an incredible and inspirational words to open this commencement. Now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Fred Lazarus, who will speak on behalf of Baltimore Design School's Board of Trustees, Dr. Lazarus. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Baltimore Design School and me personally, I congratulate each of you, the class of 2020. We share with your families and friends and teachers the great pride in what you have accomplished to get to this day. All of us wish we were together in the auditorium at Micah's Brown Center so that we could shake hands with each of you as you walk across the stage and applaud you as your names were called. And I personally wish I could also ask each of you to stand and join me an applause of thanks to the Baltimore Design School teachers and staff who have worked so hard to support you on your journey to this day. I also wish that I could applaud each of your families and friends with you who have been through this journey with you and have been so supportive. However, since we are not together, I wish to take a moment right now to quietly express our gratitude to all these people who have been so important. Last week, as I joined Principal Valentine, your teachers and staff in the Baltimore Design School parking lot, I saw each of you through the car windows. And as I was reminded, as I looked at you, of the strong relationships you have built during your time at BDS and what a wonderful community it is. In truth, you may never ever be supported by so many people who are so supportive and caring of you. During this time at BDS, each of you has grown and developed academically and artistically. And of equal importance, you have developed self-confidence and personal strength. These are the qualities that now prepare you for the next leg of your life journey. The COVID virus has robbed you of your senior exhibit, your fashion show, your class trip, your prom, and yes, a formal graduation ceremony. However, it will not in any way diminish what you have accomplished, the friendships that you have made, nor the capabilities that you have developed. These are the qualities and the skills 
which have prepared you to continue to grow and to change the world that so desperately needs you. We are so proud of you and the legacy that you have left at Baltimore Design School. We are appreciative of the contributions that you have made to our wonderful school. Please stay in touch with us and come back often and support your fellow students. Again, on behalf of the fellows, my fellow board members, we congratulate each of you, the class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Lazarus, for your words of wisdom on behalf of Baltimore Design School's Board of Trustees. Being bestowed the honor of class salutatorian is no small feat. The hard work, the dedication, and the sacrifice you have, the second highest average among his or her peers over a four-year period, is not an easy feat. However, for Baltimore Design School's class of 2020 salutatorian, she made this feat look effortless. She will now take her effortless approach to things and stake her claim in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, as she attends Pennsylvania College of Art and Design in the fall. Now, please welcome Baltimore Design School's Class of 2020 Salutatorian, Ms. Jasmine Great, who will now deliver the salutatorian address. Jasmine. Hello, Class of 2020 friends, family, and teachers. We finally made it. Though the circumstances aren't the best, I am so proud of every last one of you for staying safe during these times. I have so many irreplaceable memories with my peers that I am grateful to have. I never had so much fun with an entire class until I stepped foot in Baltimore Design School. You guys never missed a chance to make, a lear to make learning interesting. I especially loved how we all came together to host events like coffee house and fashion shows. Being behind the setup of it all really made it 10 times special. You guys have become so talented throughout these past years. I remember seeing most of you for the first time during the summer program. Now we're parting ways for college and more. But graduation isn't the end of our journey. In fact, we are just now starting to walk the path to our success and we can only go forward, not back. I see a bright future for so many of my peers. You guys are doing so much in the world and I'm excited. I have to thank teachers and staff for helping me realize what I wanted to do. Going to high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do specifically. All I knew was that I wanted to be an artist. I felt lost because of that. But conversations throughout the years with my teachers helped me piece together what it is I wanted to focus on. Without these experiences, I wouldn't have a clue. I want to thank Mr. Hayes for never letting me give up, even if sometimes I really wanted to, and Ms. Valentine for always being approachable and welcoming. I've never had better memories with adults than when I was in BDS. Thank you all for being so supportive and understanding. I'd like to thank the school as a whole for giving me so many opportunities and boosting my art career. Not everyone gets to work digitally or use a sewing machine in school. So being able to have these resources definitely increased my focus on art. Without the school, I couldn't have joined clubs like Zine Club or National Art Honor Society. Without the school, I wouldn't have the ability to experience pre-college and MICA. And without the school, I wouldn't be able to make the friends that I have now. So thank you, Baltimore Design School, for allowing me to have these opportunities. I also want to give thanks to my mother and father for always supporting my dreams. I know that not all parents agree with their child becoming an artist, so I am extremely grateful that I have ones that do. I am grateful that my mom always put her all in order to ensure that I had the best. And I'm grateful for having a dad who always gave me the best advice whenever I was upset. I couldn't make it through the years without my biggest support system. This year has been a bit heavy with everything going on, but I know we can power through it and come back stronger. Once again, I am proud of everyone and look forward to seeing what the future has in store for us. Thank you, Jasmine, for such a riveting address. Now we have Baltimore Design School's Assistant Principal, Mr. Darren Brozine, as he greets our graduating seniors with words of inspiration. Greetings, Baltimore Design School graduates, families, friends, and staff. As I look into a camera instead of looking out into a crowd of excited families and graduates, it is obvious the impact COVID has had on our daily lives. This is not how any of us anticipated the conclusion of one journey and the start of another. We have had to change our plans and learn new ways. It has proven to us that life does not always go as planned, and at times, the course may need to be altered. It has also proven that you have what it takes to overcome challenges, 
as you have persevered and pushed yourselves to be flexible in new ways you previously never thought. Obstacles will always appear that seek to prevent you from attaining your goals and dreams. Your path may not always go as you initially thought, but you are designers. You can use your creativity to get around the wall, your critical thinking skills to climb over the barrier, and your determination to knock down the obstruction. For you cannot let the obstacle prevent you from achieving what you set out to do. You have the talents and skills for success, and you have honed them through your time at Baltimore Design School. Now it is time to apply them. We wish you all the best going forward and know that we are always here for you. You are the Baltimore Design School graduating class of 2020. Now in today's society, lift up your voice and show the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brozine, for such a spirited and inspirational greeting. The valedictorian of any graduating class can be seen at times as somewhat of an enigma. How can someone be so committed and so focused as to achieve the highest grade point average amongst his or her peers over the course of four years? The key words commitment and focus lend themselves true when describing this year's valedictorian. Not only is she committed and focused, she is one of the most reliable, easygoing, and humble young women you will ever meet. Her commitment and her focus not just academically, but also personally and socially, will indeed serve her beneficial as she stays close to home to attend the Morgan State University in the fall. Please welcome Baltimore Design School's Class of 2020 Valedictorian, Ms. Don Shea Johnson, who will now deliver the Valedictorian Address. Good morning, staff, faculty, guests, and of course, Baltimore Design School's graduating Class of 2020. I am honored to be here today as our Class Valedictorian. Majority of us have been attending BDS since sixth grade and saying goodbye to a school that built us is bittersweet. To say that I'm proud of myself and my class is an understatement. We've overcome many obstacles together with the help of Mr. Hayes and the motivating staff at BDS. This is a year that we will never forget. We took a couple losses, but we finally get to win. I know that we weren't expecting to graduate this way, but at least we can say that we did it. We are officially graduates, alumni of Baltimore Design School. We've all come this far and have so much more to come. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning of a new journey. It's only up from here. Let the next chapter begin. Thank you to my family, friends, and everyone at BDS, class of 2020. Congratulations to us. Thank you, Don Shea, for such a powerful and robust speech. I know the words you conveyed will not only take you to heights unknown, but your fellow classmates as well. Now join me in welcoming our illustrious principal, Mrs. Zahara Valentine, along with representatives from Baltimore City Public Schools who will proceed with the recommendation, the presentation, and the acceptance of this year's graduating class of Baltimore Design School. Ms. Valentine. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of the Baltimore Design School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is an amazing milestone acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as chief operating officer i take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas now ladies and gentlemen i have the honor of presenting to you ronald mcfadden baltimore city school board commissioner Baltimore Design School Class of 2020, the legendary class, we're so proud of you. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of your principal, Ms. Sahara Valentine, and the acknowledgement of the Chief Operations Officer, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. Congratulations, Class of 2020.
Dominic L. Austin, Morgan State University. Mason B. Austin, Maryland Institute College of Art. Darren M. Andrews, Employment, Job Training. Davon N. Arca, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Michael E. Artis, Jr., Employment, Job Training. Diamond A. Baker, Baltimore City Community College. Imaru Z. Barber, Bowie State University. Jonathan J. Barker, Maryland Institute College of Art. Jamise D. Bell, Clark Atlanta University. Destiny A. Bennett, Morgan State University. Kalissa A. Brown Williams, Morgan State University. Azia S. Campbell, Maryland Institute College of Art. Enasia M. Carter, Winthrop University. Jalen N. Carter, Capital Technology University. Hunter W. Coleman, Community College of Baltimore County. Javion D. Craig, University of Maryland, College Park. Aaron T. Davis, Maryland Institute, College of Art. In Fabian C. Davis, Maryland Institute, College of Art. Yasmin N. K. Davis Frett, Kennesaw State University. Nas W. Evans, Morgan State University. Kiera N. Evans, Coppin State University. Anaya B. Frazier, Community College of Baltimore County. Tyree N. Gibbs, Frostburg State University. Kayla B. Glee, Lem College. Bryce J. Gooden, University of Maryland, College Park. Eric C. Goodwin, Bowie State University. Kiara D. Grant, Bowie State University. Jasmine M. Great, Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. Malachi O. Graves, Baltimore City Community College. Raquel M. Green, Towson University. Diamond M. Harvey, Bowie State University. Deshaun Q. Holland, Undecided. Jamira B. Hawkins, Baltimore City Community College. Evan A. Holmes, Community College of Baltimore County. Philip I. Innocentes, Employment, Job Training. Javante R. Jackson, Employment, Job Training. Robert C. Jackson, Maryland Institute, College of Art. Zion Asante J. Johns, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Don Shea T. Johnson, Morgan. Ramirez R. Johnson, Morgan State University. Quinard M. Jones, Anne Arundel Community College. Malachi D. Kennedy, Undecided. Najee A. Lee, Morgan State University. Cheyenne D. Lee, Baltimore City Community College. Iandra D. Love, Baltimore City Community College. Demar J. McElween, Employment, Job Training. Leah C.S. Moore, Bowie State University. Shaquan O. Nelson, Community College of Baltimore County. Jamira M. Nixon, Morgan State University. Tyler A. Page, Garrett College. Naya M. D. Perry, Bowie State University. Adrian H. Phillips Jr., Morgan State University. Jamar T. Pompey, Frostburg State University. Marvin B. Pryor Jr., University of the District of Columbia. Amir A. Ralph, Towson University. Antoine A. Ray, Norfolk State University. Danira M. Ray, Coppin State University. Zashe S. Riley, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Kynell X. Rogers, 
Baltimore City Community College. Kaylin A. Smith, Savannah College of Art and Design. Mahogany J. Smith, Coppin State University. Jamira H. Spriggs, Community College of Baltimore County. Noah N. Stevenson, Community College of Baltimore County. D.U. Audrey Sy, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Jennifer E. Tarazona Gomez, Community College of Baltimore County. Kiera S. Williams, University of Baltimore. Ricardo Williams, Community College of Baltimore County. Madison S. Woodward, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Devin A. Wright, Frostburg State University. Freya D. Wright, Morgan State University. And Malachi A. Wright, Maryland Institute College of Art. Please Join me in welcoming the newest Baltimore Design School graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. I ask that you please rise and give a standing ovation for the Baltimore Design School's class of 2020. Please join me in once again welcoming our illustrious principal, Mrs. Zahara Valentine, who will give closing remarks. Ms. Valentine. When I close my eyes and envision a better day, I recognize more and more that your life matters. When I see pictures and images of brown humans with knees close to their face, screaming for air, for life, for their mother's care, I recognize more and more that your life matters. When I feel sad, confused, disappointed, yet hopeful, when it feels like the powers that be only want me to feel despair, I recognize more and more that your life matters. When I hear of design patents, modern day inventions, and breathable and virus resistant clothing wear, I recognize more and more that your life matters. When I see a peaceful future with all Mother Earth's diverse children treated fair, and there's no such words as disadvantaged, oppressed, or terminology rooted from despair, I recognize more and more that your life matters. When I see a future when a citizen survey doesn't ask for a race because the only thing that matters is that you are human with a smile on your face, I recognize more and more that your life matters. So know that you are surrounded by a village and know that we will work hard to ensure that your children and their children has equal privilege. I love you all and it hurts not hugging you and seeing your face, but there is no other graduating class that could have handled this with so much grace. So rise up, kings and queens, class of 2020. You carry the torch many of us try for centuries to bear. All we can do now is wrap our arms around you with love and gentle care. Know that without you, we will be marred with tears, scared, grounded in fear. Instead, we remain hopeful, dedicated to help you see things clear. So when I see you, I see beauty, my dear. I am astonished and amazed to have served as your sometimes annoying yet dedicated principal. I pray that when you think of me, you remember how much loved you are and that you will never be invisible. Welcome to adulthood and congratulations in advance for being the most impactful humanitarians and change agents in this global revolution. And as designers, you have been equipped to provide the solutions. So if I've never said it before, now more than ever, I recognize that your life has always mattered. Now take those, ta those tassels and move it over to the right. You are officially high school graduates. No one can take that distinction from you. Congratulations, class of 2020.
We have finally reached the end of our fourth commencement exercises. On behalf of our principal, Mrs. Zahara Valentine, Assistant Principal Darren Brozine, faculty, staff, and the Board of Trustees, we want to thank all esteemed guests and dignitaries who were able to share this special occasion with us. We want to personally thank the families and friends of each of our graduates. We thank you all for all you have done for the time your child or children have been with us to get them to this point in their academic and personal lives. You will always be part of the fabric that is Baltimore Design School. Finally, thank you graduates. You will be sorely missed. Even though your time with us has come to a sudden and abrupt end due to the COVID-19, the bond we have built with each of you will never go away. Just like with our first graduating class, you are our fourth round of graduates here at Baltimore Design School and will forever be part of us. This is not goodbye, but see you very, very soon. Once again, thank you all for coming out this morning and have a wonderful rest of your day.